Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of arrays. This is standard 3.4D in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 of the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on its own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a very simple electrical panel, and it's a little bit confusing because it says we have four outlets. So we need to just count the outlets right here, so this kind of strange shape. We don't necessarily need to count each of the holes because each outlet has three holes, two that are rectangular, one that's kind of looks like a house. It's not really a shape. So these are the four different outlets we have. So let's just label them one, two, three, four. And then how many outlets do six of these electrical panels have? So we need to make an array. And so we need to basically just draw five more of these electrical panels. So let's do that. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of do it like this. I'm not going to draw them in as much detail. I'm going to draw like this. Three. There's four. Five. Now, I'm only drawing five more because I've already got one right here. This is my first one. This is my second one. My third one. My fourth one. My fifth one. My sixth one. If I wanted to make it even, I could draw another one over here in the bottom right-hand corner. I just wouldn't want to count that first one. And so I am just going to draw, these are going to be my outlets. I'm not even going to attempt to draw that shape. It's going to be a little bit too intricate and ultimately not necessary. So these are my outlets. I've got four outlets on each of these electrical panels. I've got six total electrical panels. And the question is, is how many outlets do six of these electrical panels have? Well, I've already started counting one, two, three, four. So let's just keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. I bet you many of you guessed this already, twenty-three, that it's going to be twenty-four. Now, how could we have solved this without necessarily drawing all of these? Well, there's a few different ways we could have done this. Some of you immediately went to a multiplication sense, which would have been great, right? If you would have said, well, six outlets times, or six panels times four outlets per panel, that would have given you uh, that same 24. Some of you might have just done repeated addition, which would have worked as well, because multiplication can be thought of as repeated addition, right? You might have just said 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, maybe skip counting, right? So you say 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. Yeah, that could work. Some of you might have just gotten about halfway, another option, could have been, well, you're counting up to this right here. So this is halfway, right? Once you got halfway, you got three panels in. You realize you had 12 electrical outlets. You say, this is halfway. I could just double this one. Since the first half is 12, the second half is 12, I could double that, and I can get to 24. All of those get you to the correct answer. So let's look at why some of these answers, uh, these incorrect answers, might have been chosen. You see this 28 right here? Well, this 28 is kind of sneaky because if I would have drawn another outlet down here, if I would have drawn six of my own and then included the original four, well, guess what that's going to give me? 25, 26, 27, and 28. So that's actually seven panels. So if I drew six more, seven panels would get me that, and that's not what I want. If I didn't draw enough panels, if I only drew five panels, that would get me 20. But we know I'm looking for H, 24. 